the fans you put on your Xbox or your computer as well. So smart thinking. Uh, not only do you need to keep your body cool, but we also want to keep an eye on our pet's paws and how hot the pavement can get. So we are talking temperature around 95, if not higher, maybe 97 degrees this afternoon. And so that asphalt heats up to 155 degrees, even at 85 degrees, the pavement can feel up to 130 degrees. So very hot conditions, concrete 140 there at 95, 105 at 85, which is what a lot of our pavement is around here is that concrete. So. If you're out walking your dog today, here's the times where temperatures are going to be hottest. I only have a green paw at 8 a.m. when it's 82 degrees. Now, a lot of those temperatures do have to do with the sunshine heating up the pavement. So uh, these hours, 2 p.m., 4 p.m., this is when we are going to be feeling our hottest temperatures right there around 95 and having the peak direct sunlight on that pavement. The sun angle lowers as we head into the evening, so 8 p.m. it might not quite uh, be as hot as 105 to 130 there on our, our pavement when it's 86 degrees outside, but still just use caution. Uh, the grass is crunchy as well, not the most comfortable thing uh, on your dog's paws either at this time, I'm sure, so uh, do whatever you can. Uh, heated advisory is in place not only for pets but people across the portion of Nueces County that's inland as well as inland Clayburg and Jim Wales County so Alice is expected to be the hot spot today and it, if you're in this area or across the coastal bank continue to stay hydrated avoid that prolonged exposure to heat especially those areas in that heat advisory and look before you lock your car make sure you haven't left your pet or or your kid or any anybody or anything that that could be affected by the heat in your car alice here's where our temperatures are going 101 by 11 a.m 107 this is your feels like temperature this is how our, your body is going to feel because the sweat is not evaporating off of it. So 111 degrees by 3 p.m., 112 at 4 p.m. Rainfall is what we're hoping for to bring some relief to this heat, but it looks slim to come by not only in Texas, but across the plains. The desert getting in on some of that rain across uh, portions of Arizona and up into Utah uh, and then into Denver and our mountain areas getting in on some of that monsoonal rainfall from this pattern. But for us in Texas, we're still dry. Here's why high pressure right over the Four Corners region is bringing up moisture out of the Pacific Ocean, but that moisture is not making it into the plains. We are on the dry side of this high pressure. That dry air is leading to the lack of rainfall across the Lone Star State. The pattern switches up as that area of high pressure shifts a little bit more into the central United States. We start to tap into more of that Gulf moisture in the upper levels of our atmosphere as well, and that will provide our next opportunity for isolated rain here in the coastal bend. That's going to be Friday, and then it looks like an even better shot as we head into Saturday. I want to point out in the tropics, it's been very active across the Pacific region, but uh, in the Atlantic basin, we're dealing with Saharan dust that is inhibiting tropical development. We have another plume coming off of Africa right now, but this is what's going to make it into the coastal bend. As we look ahead to tomorrow, we may start to notice it by the evening. Thursday and Friday, we'll definitely notice that Saharan dust in the atmosphere. But Friday, it does start to lower as we see that moisture move in to the region as well. John Thomas.